Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Allegedly. According to, according to the blast. Child, we got some debt news already. 50 Cent and Tierra had been quiet for a moment, but that silence wasn't meant to last long. 50 is trying to get Tierra's love and hip hop paychecks seized for the $34,000 she owes him. You couldn't be, I mean, you know, I, I'd say you couldn't be a gentleman, but then again, you don't want every other heifa, hussy, and strumpet trying to shake you down. Now, they said she earned over $100,000 this past year. Where? And after taxes, that's about 68, child. Her previous claims under oath that she is broke no longer ring true, and it's more clear than ever that she has no intention of paying her debts. Yes. 50 accuses the reality star of taking steps to actively conceal her assets and prevent him from collecting his coin. He says Marie informed him she made $100,000 for her role on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood in 2019 and has failed to turn over all income about her case. He wants the judge to sanction her for an additional $5,200. Now, if she ain't got $34,000, where's she gonna get the extra $52,000? God. Well, Tierra, you better get call Mona. Call Mona. I mean, ain't, ain't there some rich man that, you know, wants to prove a point, will go on and pay your debt off for you that you used to hunch around with. Mm. Damn. Call Jay. Tell him, look, I need an old favor. Just please get him off my ass. We might have to start a GoFundMe. If everybody gave 50 cents, we could pay off his petty. According to the blast, Queen Latifah has allegedly had a son with her girlfriend, Ebony. And the son's name has leaked, and the name is Rebel. Ivy, at, at what point is she going fest? Because this is just getting odd. Like, you having whole ass babies, but we just going to act like you, you still in that closet. You know, open the door. You okay? Everything good in here? You need something? All right, let me. You good? Ch we going to have dinner. You want to come? All right, I'm going to leave you in here. I'll bring you a plate, girl. You got enough room in there with Missy? You got enough room? Okay, good. I, I can take some of them boxes. That already right, you hand that to me. You gotta get some cable in here for y'all. But, I mean, I'm not surprised Queen Latifah had a child at 48. You know, Andy Cohen. A lot of men are having children older these days. Did y'all see the trailer for Fall from Grace? I, I saw it and I just... Tyler, I'm tired. I'm really tired. And also, in Tyler News, something really interesting happened today. He showed all the scripts for his shitty little shows. And guess what? He said he writes everything himself. He doesn't have a writer's room. One, well, that's why everything is so terrible. And two, so you really want to keep, like, you want to talk about creating opportunities so you're not going to open up your writer's room to other writers of color, other LGBTQIA writers. You're just going to do it all yourself. I mean, well, you are of color and you are LGBTQIA, so boxes are checked. But damn, you can help a heifer, help a heifer. You really think you can do that shit all by yourself? Okay. Now, this is an interesting story. Woman in Canada ordered to pay $200,000 to her ex for ruining his online reputate. According to reports from Global News, resource industry executive Brandon Rock brought the case against his ex-girlfriend, Noelle Halcrow, after she began attacking him on social media following a pair of breakups about a year apart. Her post alleged some pretty serious claims, like Rock was an out-of-control drunk, a cheater, and carried STDs. In his ruling, Judge Myers ended up concluding that Halcrow mounted a campaign against Mr. Rock, oh, Rook, that was as relentless as it was extensive, and she was motivated by malice. Malice. 
malice. Hallcrow claimed somebody else made the pose attacking Rook, but the judge rejected that argument. Child, they done dug up IP addresses. So he got 175000 in general damages, 25000 in aggravated damages, and 38000 to compensate for what he had to spend hiring reputation consultants to help get defamatory posts off the incident, off the internet, along with court cost. I mean, that's great, but uh, does she have $200,000? Because otherwise you have a worthless judgment. French Montana spoiled power. Oh, my God. He leaked the episode of Power at 8.47 p.m. Ooh, no, that's petty. And hitting him in the pockets. You better go, French. Fuck 50. Okay, now, um, I was in the chat, and Queen Scorpion, or Scorpion Queen, please forgive me um, if I don't get the screen name 100% right, but she had an amazing theory about who the snake is on Housewives of Atlanta since there are all these articles out saying it's not Yavana, it's not Yavana, it's not Yavana. It's not Yavana. It's not Cynthia, because she wouldn't tape herself. It's not Candy, because she just found out. It's not Marlo, believe it or not. And that's not really Marlo's gag. Can't be Nene. So who... Wasn't Portia. So who's left? Who's left? Tanya! Nobody would think the sweet Canadian girl would do it, but think about who else has had access. Nobody would suspect her of that shit. That's why she's the snake. Ooh, and Kenya don't ever stick your tongue out again. Ugh. Victor Cruz tapped his third host of E's Pop of the Morning. Who is Victor Cruz? He's very pretty. Oh, okay, NFL star. That's why I didn't know him. Well, good for him. Good for him. He'll be joining Liliana Vasquez and Scott Tweed. I don't know who these people are. Maybe people will be in. Maybe the show will give something. I don't know. And speaking of talk show hosts, apparently this morning Amanda Seals started her her first day as a permanent co-host of The Real. I hope that this gives her what she needs so that she can not be the asshole she's been for the past 38 years. 38 years. A shithead. I mean, is she going to get you to watch the reel or is she going to keep you from watching the reel? Do we give a shit? I guess this is definitely a stunt for ratings because they are really starting to sag. She's like Tamar, but more aggy. But I guess for the loud and wrong, they now have a show. Everybody needs one. Hunter Biden's crack pass could haunt him in child support battle. I didn't know he had a crack pass, damn. According to page six, a private eye who's been hounding the former vice president's son in the case claims in the filing that Biden's alleged lying, including after a drug bin, should be examined. The investigator, Dominic Casey, who worked on the Casey Anthony case and has previously, lo and has previously lost attempts to inject himself into this one, says in the filing that Biden is guilty of identity theft. Now, I do look at him, and he gives me a little cracky booty, but um, I don't think he's stealing identities. Then again, you never know. Doctor shopping and shit. Authorities found a crack pipe and white residue inside the car that Biden rented. Biden was never prosecuted, with authorities saying they had no proof the items were connected to him. Now, that is white privilege. Ooh, like, like my eyes got as big as dinner plate. Whoa. Oh, my God. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! Oh no, that, that, we don't got no proof that's yours. You know, it could have been anybody's. It was a rental. Oh yeah. Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill plan to sign a prenup. How is that news? Like, duh, they both have shit. You know, they know it might work, it might not. A prenup is smart. I know she don't want to give up Lake Bailey. Ha! He said, yeah, I've had my money taken before. Oh, no. 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 
I just may not get legally married, and that, that might be the easiest way. I'll pull a Eddie Murphy. We can get married, beautiful ceremony on the boat. Ain't shit legal. You don't own intellectual property to first. Because that's all I have is the diamond mind. Wow, Cynthia's ring, $85,000. Imagine going from, you know, a ring pop with Penelope Thomas to a real rock with Mike. Ooh, child, everybody was mad at Beyonce one because she showed up in that 1995 gaudy-ass dress with all that organza on the sleeves. It, I mean, she's looked worse, but she's looked better. But uh, she didn't stand up and give Ho Quinn Phoenix a standing O for Joker. Child, I wouldn't either. I didn't see the shit and didn't want to see the shit. Fuck him and his hair lip. And speaking of lip, Brielle dissolved her fillers. Okay, you're still not going to be pretty or interesting. But, well, I can't say good luck. Little Fizz and April have stopped following each other now that Fizz realized he has fucked up his big bag. I mean, that little $4 a year Mona paying you is gone dry up because now all you have this year is to talk about the blues you are singing. Maybe you could come out with an album about being left. Left out of the group, alone, a fool. You could talk about the rain in your cloud. Because, child, your sunshine left on tour. And your sunshine is called Omarion. I mean, I'd say I wish you luck, but I don't. Faith Evans is upset about the upcoming Lifetime biopic that uh, talks about the hopelessly in love or something like that. Well, honey, it was hopeless in the title, so you should have known. She was told it would be a positive piece on Lifetime? Are you for fucking real? That's just one step and a half shimmy away from VH1. I, I mean, yes, your shit was going to be sensationalized. It's called Hopelessly and I, I just... Did you think this was that Angie Martinez shit on We? That might be positive. But this, honey. Child, Mark Curry is still whining about Steve stealing his material back in 2017 or 2016. Child, come up with something new. Come up with something newer and funnier. That's all I can tell you. I mean... I, I would... If I were you, Mark, I'd be worried about getting Steve's pockets rather than him stealing my material. Because if he took your material and got his pockets, child, you fucking up because you had it first. Well, those were today's hot topics, but I'll see you soon for something. So tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. 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 We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, about the unit. We gotta address what the hell's on your head. Say it again. We got to address what the hell is on your head. One more time. What the fuck is that? Is it a welcome mat? Is that a dead cat? We gotta talk about the unit. Yeah.